You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I am Alex. I'm Asa. This is Jim. And we are your astute wind counselors to get you through your week with any problems you might be facing or any issues that you want addressed. So let's get right to it. Uh, Rachel from Chicago, Illinois writes, Dear Win, my family is Jewish and doesn't celebrate or give much credence to Christmas. However, my boyfriend is Catholic and he wants me to celebrate Christmas with his family. What do you think I should tell my parents, uh, Jim? Um, well, I think, uh, you should just, uh, tell them the truth. The truth, yeah. Um, that you are madly in love with a Gentile. Mm. And that, uh, for Christmas you're gonna, you know, experience the other side. Oh, the other side. Yeah. Hmm. The other side of Christmas that doesn't involve Chinese food and movies. All right. What do you think, Ace? Cover up your tracks. All right. You're going to make a couple phone calls. Mm hmm. Phone calls to, uh, friends. Right. Friends who don't celebrate Christmas. So that if they check your phone bill. Ah. They won't. You know, you're, you want to throw your parents off the trail. So right. I imagine that they're pretty on top of your business. Right. And that's why you're asking us this question. Exactly. Hmm. So when you uh, go over to, I guess, you know, your boyfriend's house or whatever, uh, call an Uber, call a taxi, and also have a roommate or neighbor, someone you trust, uh, take your car. Oh. And then have a friend dress up with a wig, uh, in some, some of your clothes so they, so they look like you. Okay. That person's gonna jump in the taxi. Alright. Mm-hmm. You're gonna take the Uber. Somebody else, uh, that neighbor or whoever is gonna take your car. Okay. That way if they're watching, they're not sure who's who. Mm-hmm. Who's going where. Oh. Okay. That, that's my advice. Well, that's pretty in depth. You know, that's so, that's so in depth. Uh, Rachel, uh, sweet winner, I don't think I'm going to give you my suggestion to this one. And we'll move on to the next one instead. Harold <laughs> from Santa Clara, California writes, Dear Win, with the most recent failed rescue operation in Yemen by the U.S. Navy SEALs, what do you think can be done to make sure these operations are successful in the future? Huh. Asa. You know, I think, uh, some more diligent paperwork, uh, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations. Uh, I think it's called note notes. Oh, notes. Yeah. The application. That was the whole thing with the Syria thing last week. Right. I mean, if the general would have just had uh, some good old fashioned paper and pencil, maybe you could have kept track of the Iraqi soldiers that were getting paid, not even showing up. Right. Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. And that's, I saw that in, I was on the Warden World local news, I think. I heard about it, I saw it, I read about it. Right. Mm-hmm. And since then, it's changed my mind. I use all of those Microsoft Office programs now. <laughs> then clearly that would have been a successful operation. What do you think, Jimbo? Um, well, I think, uh, uh, more simulations. Mm. Playing a lot more like Splinter Cell or Call of Duty. Right. Uh, anything to get those, uh, get the seals into more realistic video scenarios. So they have to turn the gore setting on too, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Right. Turn off any language filters. Okay. And just really, uh, so they can get in there and they can see what it's going to be like before they're actually in the real situation. Hmm. Well, uh, Winter, what I would think is actually if our seals dressed up like seals and just waddled into, you know, the scene where they had to go and try to take care of some business, no one would have thought twice. No dogs would have barked. Nothing else would have happened. And all of a sudden, the seals could have went in there, and they could have probably just taken them out, kind of like that killer rabbit on uh, Monty Python, where he just jumps for the juggler and just t- starts murking people one after another. That's what I think um, our U.S. Navy should do, is take real seals, train them to look like Navy seals, and then have them go in there and take care of the business. So anyway, you got some options there to discuss with your friends. And we've got one more little piece of inspiration to get you through the week, known as... Horse Goat Corner. Love 
fortune, status. Let us do your astrological chart. Horoscope Corner on World Improv Network. Hey there, Gemini. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Why, that's a gem in your eye. Your eyes are shining like diamonds this month because you just went to the World Improv Network Facebook page and you liked us, YouTube page and subscribed. You went to iTunes and you left a review or and uh, and a rating and you downloaded and subscribed. Oh, you... Thanks for listening to Win on KZKO. Don't forget to interact with the cast by sending your suggestions for each segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, Twitter at World Improv Net, or the Win KZKO blog. See you next week. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe.